Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel and can you see anything different? And no, I'm not talking about my bookshelves. I chopped my hair off <laughs> and I got like bangs, but I'm not feeling them right now. So we're putting them to the side, but it has been a hot minute since I've seen you guys and vice versa probably, basically. And if I look far away to you, I had this table in front because we are on unboxing two bookish boxes because I'm behind <laughs> but yeah that's why it's there in case you can't do like why is she so far away because I'm going to be unboxing <laughs> two boxes and let's see if I can try to get y'all in here that's as good as it's going to get okay so I don't know which one or what month each, I don't know. We're gonna find out together because I don't know if it's May, <laughs> April or May. Yeah, I don't know. So we're just gonna find out together. And you're probably asking, why don't you just like get scissors to the box? Because I like to make things in my life difficult. <laughs> So open in the box and we got the spoiler card. I'm just gonna look at it really quick to see if it says the month. I just spoiled myself. Um month, month, month. Oh wait. Okay, so this is the April box. Okay, this is the April box. This is in very tiny letters, but it's the April box. So the theme for this box is Ascend the Throne. So I'm guessing like... <sighs> now let's just swear myself for the book. We're, we're just gonna ignore the book and put all the stuffing on top of the book. Okay. So the first thing I got out, and I know I spoiled myself on the card with this one. It's a pillowcase. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually really nice. Oh my gosh, it's soft. Is this upside down? Yeah. Okay. Libraries are... Library... Libraries? Libraries were full of ideas. Perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. Ooh, I like that. It's just this nice pillowcase. And... Does it have a zipper on it? It does have a zipper on it. Oh, that's nice. And this is really soft, too. I'm, like, impressed with the quality of this. Psst. How are you doing? This is so cool. Oh, it's just like a... It's like... Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the wrapping first, Jess. It's... A crown? Which I'm guessing is a bracelet? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love oh my gosh what is this it's a bangle okay the pillowcase oh okay pillowcase featuring a well-loved quote from the throne of glass this hand lettered pillowcase by letter piece is a stunning way to spruce up your reading area I have not read throne of glass series yet I know I'm the last one on the bandwagon and this bangle our crown bangles not only a gorgeous accessory but can double as a prop for your bookstagram photos or to add some royalty to your bookshelf. Okay, it doesn't say who it's from, so I'm guessing it's a book, the bookish box, book box exclusive. But oh my gosh, I love this. I think I feel something caught at the bottom. It's a pendant. Oh, I love pendants. Okay. I choose a mortal life. Whoa, okay. I have yet to acquire, how do you even, I don't know how to open things apparently. I have yet to acquire one of those like tapestry things, the, with like the string that hangs on your wall to put the pins on. I'm waiting for that to put the pins on, but I haven't acquired it yet from the book box. Monthly pen, I choose a mortal life. It's so pretty. Can y'all see that? I don't know. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And this is from Lord of the Rings. 
Designed by Pens by Air Arisimon. Arisimon? Yeah, that's so pretty. What is this? This is not the book. Oh my gosh. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. A book sleeve designed by... Who's it? But I can't read this cursive. A uh, book sleeve. Mary Wilde Mary Wild and Co. Exclusive for the bookish box. Oof. Just this print alone is so pretty. But this bookish sleeve. Oh my gosh, okay. Blood and Ash. It's. I haven't read Blood and Ash yet. But I'm guessing those are just two main characters. <laughs> like, I'm gonna kill you and, ah, oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, so, is it just a book sleeve? Okay, there's no, like, zipper at the top. But, oh my gosh. This is so nice. It's pretty decent quality. And, okay, I know this is the candle. I always look forward to the candles and bookmarks because you always know the bookmark and candle are always matching. Ooh, black currant and sandalwood. And these are exclu exclusively by the bookish, the bookish book box. Um, okay, I smell the sandalwood. It has like a kind of manly vibe about it, and Lay, 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 I don't know who that is. Yeah. Um, this will tell me who that is. Candle, candle. Our next character candle featuring Leia from Ember in the Ashes. Okay. Um, oh, the label art is from Nicole Deal. Again, I haven't read that book series, but yeah, it's, it's I don't, I don't, why do we associate sandal with manliness? It's just like a scent that's more like outdoorsy, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's, oh wait, there should be a bookmark in here. I don't want to look at what the actual book is. Yeah, I don't feel a bookmark anywhere. Hopefully, is it behind? <gasps> it's behind the book, okay. Okay, ooh, girl, work it. Dang, girl, she's so fierce. Look at that, she's so fierce. I love. And y'all know where this is gonna go with my other bookmarks that I'm collecting. Okay, so all of that goes with the. What is this? Ooh, the print. This is really cool. I love the coloring. Y'all see that? Without the glare. So pretty. Okay. Oh, this is about the book. Okay. Don't want to spoil myself. Is there anything else? Okay. Ooh, okay. These Feathered Flames by Alexandra Overy. I'm going to take the plastic one first. You know, why did they put it in a plastic wrapping when they give me a book sleeve like can't you put the book in the book sleeve I don't know or done like a different theme a book sleeve to put the book in the book sleeve instead of plastic again I don't know. okay magic demands payment it's an okay cover it's got like warm tones um, ooh. Okay, so this, a bookish book exclusive edition of the cover, a revers reversible dust jacket, custom decorative and papers, exclu ex exclusive artwork signed by Alexandra Overy. Okay. 
Yeah, it's really pretty. Look at that. Look at the end papers. It's a phoenix, I think. I want to say Mushu for a second, but that ain't it. Ooh. And it's orange. Oh, pretty. Okay. Um, I'm guessing those are the two main characters. They look so fierce. The queen is dead and someone must pay. In the land of Torin, when twin hairs are born, their fates are decided at a young age. Well, Isephida <laughs> remains at court, learning the lies and deception. <clears throat> Deception needed to survive as a future queen. Asia, Asia was taken away to train with her aunt, the mysterious and deadly firebird, who ensured magic remain balanced in the realm. But before Asia tra Asia's training is completed, the ancient power suddenly blooms inside her, which can mean only one thing, the queen is dead and a new ruler must be crowned. Isaveta? suddenly finds herself surrounded by people who all want something from her. A seat on the council, her support for a given policy, her resignation, even the return of her sister, who was once her closest friend, leaves Isaveta feeling unbalanced. As the princesses come to understand everything their roles entail, they must discover who they can trust, who they can love, and who killed their mother. Dang, okay. It's getting hot in here. Sorry guys, you can see my sweat in um, okay, so it is, ooh, I think it's like, oh, it's like a tarot card. See that? It's like a tarot card. kind of looks like one. But I think this is actually like she hand written this and it's not like a sign plate. Like, like look at that. Holy crap. So cool. I feel like the cover, the main cover for this book, of the hardcover I have right here that I'm struggling with, it's kind of underwhelming for the book and what it's about, but then again, it's a reversible dust jacket, but still, it's kind of like underwhelming, I guess, or, I don't know, I guess I had to read it, then connect it with the front cover of the page, you know? But yeah, that is it for the April book box. So I have which this, which I'm guessing is the May bookish book box. And we switched out the candle that we last had for the candle that I just got. Yes, okay, so let's open this book. Book, let's open this box. Do I actually need scissors this time to open it? <laughs> nope. Right, okay. Okay, so for the theme of this book box, oh my gosh, did I just... Why do they put it at the top? I don't want to see the book. So I'm trying to cover it because I think I just spoiled myself with who the author is. So for the thing for the May bookish box is Story Wonderlust. Story Wonderlust, okay. Ooh, okay. There's a box inside of the box here. It's stuffed and it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Is this a mug? Is this a mug? What is this? What does it say? The bookish box time KDP letter. So in collaboration. With it's a mug. Oh my god, I love mugs. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like the shape like reminds me of like what I would get as kids. Oh, okay, it says something. Oh, I'm not an at one. I have no idea what it says, but oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, okay, I love it. What is this by? Um, mug. If you were to snag a mug in Atlanta, does that say Atlanta? Wow, I can read. <laughs> if you were to snag a mug in Atlanta at a coffee shop, this is what we imagine you'd be grabbing. KDP Letters created this beautiful artwork. Okay, that's so cool. I am a sucker for mugs, okay? I love mugs. That's so cool. Don't want to break that. Okay, what's the next? Okay. It's a tea blend. What is this? 
Hopefully something I can ingest. Okay. Spicy vanilla for your late night wanderlust. Ooh. Decaf Salome. Natural spice flavor. Natural vanilla flavor. Orange, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and cardamom. Butchered everything. <laughs> Gluten-free, nut, and dairy-free. A decaf tea. Ooh. Late night traveler. A bookish box exclusive tea blend. Riddles Tea Shop. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna open it to give it a sniff a sniff. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's so like interesting. It's like vanilla and then you get hit with the citrusy of the ginger. Oh my gosh. I smell the ginger, for sure, and vanilla. I'm, oh, that's the Jess, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why, I'm smart. Okay, pen, ooh, okay. I can't, why don't you take the wrapper off so you can read? Okay, Cat, Catmare Academy, Catmare Academy? The pen is by Bliss, Blissfully Bookish Design This. Catmere Academy en Enamel Pen. We are so in love. We are currently traveling there in our mind. Are you? I'm guessing this is... Oh, okay. So this pen is... Did y'all see that? Inspired by Crave by Tracy Wolfe. I feel like I've seen that, but is it like this? I'm guessing that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Academy. Interesting. Okay, okay don't move. Okay. Ooh. We got jewelry. We got jewelry. Ooh, ooh. Fictional Wonderlust. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So it is basically just that background but yeah like that oh so pretty it says wonderlust engraved at the bottom fictional places okay where's this guy necklace let the world know you have a case of fictional wonderlust with this gorgeous necklace designed by the bookish shop so it's exclusive but i guess it doesn't really it's not, it doesn't pertain to like a book or a series. It's just a cute little necklace. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Candle, what we open the waiting for. Okay. For, for, what? Forks, Washington. Dark woods, moss, and fresh rain. I'm guessing this is Twilight, because it said Forks, Washington, and I mean, that's supposed to be Edward, I am I presume. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it comes in a black screw top. Oh. Oh. This smells like a guy. <laughs> And so I'm guessing the bookmark is Edward Call. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, how do you... Okay. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, our next character candle featuring Edward from Twilight's hometown. We create a scent that will bring you right to Forks, Washington. Label art by the talented Nicole Deal. So this is the fifth addition to the Candle and Bookmark series. I love it. This is the artwork we got, the print. It's so pretty. I don't know what it's by. <laughs> what is it by? Ooh, okay. This beautiful illustration by Morlev underscore art is our June YA theme art inspired by the shadows between us. So I'm guessing this is the theme for next for June which I didn't get 
the Boxer Gym because I'm trying to save money, let's put it that way. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so for this book, a bookish box exclusive edition of the cover, a reversible dusk jacket, custom decorative end pages, and exclusive art on the inside. And it's signed. Okay, I just spoiled myself again. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh moly. Dang, this is so like sick. Um Realm Breaker by Victoria Aviard. This is a big one too. <laughs> Can y'all see that? I know the ring light gets in the way. But yeah. This is a big one. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so she signed the end paper right there. Oh, so pretty. This is a hefty book. Oh my gosh. I wonder, is it like 500 pages? Almost 565 pages. Okay. that and then we have like a map oh and victoria Aviard is looking fierce dang okay okay get yourself together um save the world or end it a strange darkness is growing in the ward even corian and amarat can feel it tucked away in her small town at the edge of the sea fate knocks on her door in the form of a mist mythical immortal and a lethal assassin who tell Corin Corin that she is the last of an ancient lineage with the power to save the world from destruction because a man who would burn kingdoms to the ground is raising an army unlike any seen before bent on uprooting the foundation of the world with poison in his heart and a stolen sword in his hand he'll break the realm itself to claim it and only Corian can stop him, alongside an unlike, unlikely group of reluctant allies. Corian finds herself on a desperate journey to complete an impossible task, with untold magic sing, singing in her blood and the fate of the world on her shoulders. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. I am like obsessed with the cover. Do you see that? Like the detail on that? Like there's blood dripping because she's grip he or she's gripping the sword. Oh. This is awesome. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. Okay, so that's all from both of the book boxes for April and May. I'm excited. I'm loving this cover. Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited to get to reading both of these, but you know, TBR. <laughs> Um, honestly, I like all the trinkets and goodies I got from this box, which is the April box. I like that more than the trinkets I got for May book box, but I like this book better than this book so far. But I'm, they're in a league of their own. So I can't really say that about them, but I'm ex more excited about this book. But I will read this book too, obviously. And that is the bookish book box unboxing for April and May. <laughs> yeah, and you won't see a June bookish book box unboxing because, like I said, I need to save up money right now. <laughs> but you will see July because I forgot how fun it is unboxing these and seeing all the trinkets and books and like exclusive like signed books and like dusk jackets for the books exclusively for the bookish book box yeah so thank you for watching like and subscribe for more videos by me and I'll see you guys later bye guys